Qantas, now flying direct from Sydney to Mumbai, India. Harvey Norman, there's a store near you. And another great delivery from Forex Gold. This is a delayed start of the final test match and this is day one uh, and we are at the one kd stadium as you can see still a bit of a cloud cover but fortunately we'll have some plane it's india versus australia the final test match in the tvs cup test series one kd stadium pitch well uh, some believe there's a lot for the seamers a lot for the spinners as well it's been the history of the one kd pitch shiva ramakrishnan having a look at the pitch well, a lot of Indian fans are looking for an Indian victory here to stand with some pride and the toss to me is going to be very crucial. I've seen a lot of pitches here at the Wankhede Stadium and this one totally different. Normally a very good test match pitch with a good covering of grass and a lot of moisture. But this time there is a little bit of grass cover. No moisture whatsoever in spite of the covers being on for much longer this morning because of the rain. And the surface underneath is very dry and starting to get powdery. So I reckon this pitch will start to play up as the match progresses. Even on day two there could be some turn and bounce and some uneven bounce. And I, as a spinner, would love to bowl on this, and I wonder what Barry Richards thinks of this as a batsman. I'd hate to face you on this, because this is going to turn, and it's going to turn big time. It's just a matter of when. Australia, of course, without the ace bowler, Shane Warne, and that's going to be a major problem. Nathan Horitz will no doubt come into the side. It'll be a big challenge for him, but I reckon that uh, on this pitch, draw, must turn, toss, absolutely vital. But to just sum it up from an Australian perspective, you see just that little rock in there. And without Shane Warne, they're going to be between a rock and a hard place. Ricky Ponting, of course, is the captain now for Australia. Here's with Dean Jones with the toss. Thanks very much, Sanjay. Well, we've got the two captains out here, Raul Dravid. Ricky Ponting's back from a long break. And Raja Matagali, a match referee. You've got the Jamaican $5 coin. There it is. That's a tail, finally. What are you going to do, mate? You won a toss. <laughs> we're going to bat. Finally, we won one. Yeah, we're going to have a bat. And uh, the pitch, look, there's been a lot of speculation about it. Do you think it'll turn right from day one? Well, I think it will turn at some stage in the day. I've been assured by the groundsman that it, it won't turn straight away. Uh, I think with these conditions, it might do a bit initially. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think at some stage in the game, it will turn, and, and we're playing three spinners. You've had a few changes in your team, but at least you've had a few days for everyone to get together for this game. Yeah, exactly. We've had a couple of days to regroup. Uh, we know we're... Uh, you know, even though we've lost the series, the guys are pretty keen uh, and really up for it. We've got two young faces on the side, Gambir and uh, Dinesh Karthik, and, you know, we wish them all the best, and we hope they'll uh, they'll have a great game. All right, mate, well done on winning the toss. Well, Panda, welcome back, but uh, you get here for one day and you've lost a toss. Yeah, uh, the boys have been to me, no doubt, when I get back into the room. Some Gillies won the first three, and I've come back and lost the first one, and, uh, yeah, it's a pretty dry wicket as well. And overhead conditions this morning might allow the ball to swing around, so we've got to make sure we make the most of that. And uh, Nathan Horace comes in for warning. Yeah, he's, um, he's been sitting there waiting for quite a while now and he's impressed everybody with what he's done on this tour so far, whether that be with his bowling in the nets or just the way he's been around the group. So he's dying to get out here and have a crack and he's got his chance today. And uh, what is it with you guys, the broken thumbs in this team? Yeah, I know, getting, getting one back from a broken thumb and then uh, Shane cops a little one on the, on the thumb yesterday and, and fractures his in two places. So, yeah, we'll get one back and lose one. All right, mate, all the best today. Well, that's the news here. India finally have won a toss here and they're elected to bat. Back to you, Sanjay. Thanks, Dino. I think it's the right decision. There, there's nothing much you can do when you have a pitch like this that's uh, likely to turn very soon, but it's just battling out the first couple of hours for India against Australia. Look at the Indian team. You've got a couple of uh, debutants there. Gautam Gambhir at the top, the left-handed opening batsman. And, uh, of course, we have a new wicketkeeper, Dinesh Karthik. Uh, slats, Australia had to get the left-arm spinner in. Yeah, well, he's actually right arm, Sam. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Horrors, he's been waiting. You know, he's had a, a long, hard tour. And then it's where you've got to keep training as though you're going to play, even if you think you're not. Shane Warne, uh, uh, you know, a silly injury yesterday. Not that he could have helped it, but Horrors comes in. Debut test match. But I think the conditions here, if you're a spinner, you don't mind uh, booing when you've got an absolute wicket's going to turn and help you out. Three debutants today. 
Gautam Gambia and Tanish Kartik have come in. Gambia, the 249th player to represent India, and Tanish Kartik is the 250th. And of course, the other debutant, Nathan Horace, becomes the 390th player to represent Australia at this level. For Inder Seawag, well, he's in red hot form now. He really is playing really well. The Australians are dead set concerned with him about his assault early. He averages 53.26. And Glenn McGrath, who looks a lot better today. He's been, what we say at home, a bit crook. He's been a bit poorly or a bit sick. He's had a bit of the flu, but look at those uh, that record. 451 wickets from 101 matches. A magnificent strike rate of 52 balls per wicket. Overcast conditions. Three slips of galley, bat pad, bowling to young Gautam Gambier to take his first ball in test cricket. Run straight away, almost. Great piece of fielding there. He's in the game and he's been cleaned up. And <laughs> we can laugh, but they hurt as we welcome Laxman Shivarama Krishnan. Good afternoon, Dino. Well, wasn't the slot to get off the mark in good fashion. But Simon Katic. Well, go down technically is a drop chance, will it? Hit him on the shin, ricocheted up in the air. Mm, tough one. Simon Cattis is feeling short leg for most of the series, but a big opportunity for young Gautam Gambhir. Opens for Delhi along with Virendra Sevag in the Ranji Trophy format here in first class cricket. Oh, well played, off the mark. Couldn't wish to have two of the first balls you ever face in test cricket. One to be a, well, right in the slot on the legs, another one just off the hip so you can get yourself off the mark. Outside edge and drops. Well, it's all happening. He's just got into the team and he's put one down. No shortage of action in this series right from ball number one. And here, Virendra Sevak, the first ball that he's faced in this match, has gone hard at the ball. Just a little bit of width, no movement of the feet. And a very sharp chance going down. Medra would have been disappointed. What a great opportunity. Huge shout. Not out. Was it the height? Was this extra bounce with the hard new ball? The keeper Adam Gilchrist was right behind the stumps. So I think the line wasn't a problem. Let's have a look at here. In good position there, Rudy Kurtz. And just hit on leg stamp and look at the height. I think it's good enough. The pitch just on leg stump. I probably could give that, but the height was the major problem for Rudy Kurtzer. A bit of bounce here in Mumbai. There they are here, the two teams. Gambier comes in. Got some gub. Gambier. Dinesh Kartik comes in there. And the major point there, there's only one fast bowler Zahi Khan so I expect Tendulkar to do a bit of bowling there oh great delivery big off cutter oh he knows it's good and used it to great effect in Nagpur as well the in cutter very lucky the true nature of the bounce taking it over the stumps and look at the seam upright and the deviation beautifully bowled Oh, that was in the air for a long, long time. It might be play to maybe have two gullies here because the pitch is so slow. But as usual, Seawag always gives you a chance there. He did even in the first over. And he was dropped by Nathan Horace. But this time finds the gap. Has this tendency to stay rooted through the crease. And that coordination is what he depends on. And this time, might just be a little fortunate in getting a boundary. But he's surviving dangerously. Hits it pretty well on the leg side, looking for two, and he's going. There's one area that he has to improve is on his leg side play. He did it very well at Chennai, but the last game, you know, he played pretty well. Seawag. But I tell you what, he likes to have a little word to McGrath. He, he rates himself against Glenn McGrath, Seawag. 
There it is. It continues. And you think this might be a dead rubber, folks. Honestly, these two teams want to go out there and absolutely kill each other at the moment. Been in the rooms for five hours, four hours, waiting to play. Boy, you reckon they don't think this is fair dinkum here. He always turns around and has a smile to the umpires just to say, oh, look, I'm in control. But trust me, at times when he's got a ball in his hand, I don't think he is. Look, he hits the ball back here, picks it up, and all he wants to do is let it go in. Unfortunately, the ball, thankfully, maybe, the ball has slipped around in his hand. Pauline right through him, and he'll mention something there too, maybe. Oh, that's a great delivery. What a start to the Australians. And what a terrific bowler he is. Len McGraw making the new ball count. And the Indians are thoroughly disappointed. The best batsman in the series, Vrindra Sevak, playing down the wrong line. A great length once again. Batsman at two miles, a little bit of deviation into Vrindra Sevak. And Timba, great sight if you're a fast bowler. Not a great one if you're an Indian fan. McGraw picks up his first wicket in this match. Sevag, the man dismissed. It's 11 for 1. The skipper. He's here, Raul Dravid. That's worth the shout. Very, very straight. By G, that's great bowling. It kept a little bit down, and the Australians now have got two wickets and two balls. Very good decision by Alindar. The angle was good from Jason Gillespie. Early tentative movements from Gautam Gumbi, not getting a great deal forward, close to the stumps, pitching in line, and that's gone. That's gone. Good decision once again by Alinda. Look at his head, right in line with the red zone, and he's got his spot on. Gumbi is first outing in Test match cricket, a disappointment. It's 11 for two. The little master on a team hat trick. Beautifully played. How solid was that defence? Well, everything has happened at Mumbai. Really has. Here's the first wicket to fall. A loose shot from Seawag. He missed that by a week. A long way. Nipping back. No feet. Not prepared to get the body behind the line of the ball early. Just wanted to smash him. That's the way he plays, though. And gets knocked over the off cutter. That's what they've been trying to do to him all series. Another big off cutter there from Gillespie. But the major point for me for the LBW was that it's pitched in line, but it nipped back in. And the only concern, I think, for Alan Dar was the height. Just on the knee roll. And I think it was certainly clipped the top of middle and off stump. Thought hard for it, but a long time. Was fully convinced. Up went the finger. Oh, a ball that's kicked. They're going for a quick single. Chance for a run out for hits. Oh, Sachin. What are you doing? Well, ultimately doing the right thing by getting in the way of the throw. Sachin Tendulkar getting off the mark. Tell you, he'd have been gone. Had there been a direct hit, he'd have been gone by a mile. Had to make the adjustment in the shot because of the extra bounce. And we get that. He would have been gone, hitting the toe end of the bat. That's what have kept him there. He survived. Tell you what, he's lucky he didn't impale himself with his bat. <laughs> Outside edge, it falls short. It'll run away for four. Matthew Hayden couldn't quite cover it. Nice shot. Well, it was in the slot, really. Players at this level should whack them for four. And Raul Dravid doesn't miss out on that one. And it'll give him a lot of confidence, too, because it's straight down the ground, full face of the bat. We've been seeing a lot of the angled bat, but this time he's uh, really got it a full face. And that's all you need to do against a hard ball, looking for additional swing. Jason Gillespie might have even been looking for the York, and he's just slightly missed it. And that's played perfectly. Thank you. Four I'll have. Good to, that's a huge shout. That is real close. Didn't play a shot. Out, I reckon. He's had a little bit of luck as uh, Sachin Tendulkar. This is 
very very close indeed and it's something that you've got to be careful of doing and when you're in defensive mode this is what happens you're looking for survival and suddenly one's nip one back but he's not playing a shot so outside the line doesn't matter boy oh boy Satch you're lucky is this the turning point for you that's uh, very close indeed wow look at that Oh, it's Glenn, Glenn McGrath, 15 years back. Have a look at the way that ball took off then. This is the danger for Tendorka. He's looking to leave that line all the time, and then suddenly one like that nips back. And boy, oh boy, that's only hit him on the knee roll. He's not uh, a very tall man. I think if you look at the uh, reaction of Sachin Tendorka, he was mighty relieved when that was given not out. He was low to look at the umpire. Boy, was he lucky. Now the umpire is having a little look. Having a little chat. Oh, will that be a relief to the batsman? And they are looking over there with daggers. Well, the light has been given. The pressure applied by these two experienced Indian batsmen on the on the two umpires was enough a lot of people will be saying with the lights are on how can you be given a light appeal but let me tell you it's quite dark above the side screens and with with the red ball coming out of a dark area it's very hard to pick up as you can see there above the side screen with the ball coming out of there very very hard to pick up now there's a polite inquiry and rudy's standing there Woo. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I don't think they're talking about the evening meal. I will say something in the for the defence of the umpires. I, I have, and I know Michael Slater's has batted with the lights on at times, and, the, and it's quite difficult to pick up the red ball. But I think it's the the area between the side screen and the roof at each end. It's very very hard to pick up. But Ricky Ponting said, "Well, I exactly right. Why in the hell have we got lights on then?" A waste of time. And he's looking up in the lights, look, and saying, well, surely it's not that bad. We play night cricket. We're experienced cricketers. We should be still out there. Half an hour earlier we're starting. Jason Gillespie is ready. And so is Roald Robert. Here we go. Day two. Yeah, a bit of a controversy this morning, Dino, with the uh, cutting of the wicket. I'm, I'm speaking to Rudy Goodson about, about it, and he said that th there's no actual measures on the mowers, so they can't really tell how much they're taking off, and that was a bit of concern to the umpires. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's quite a lot has come out of that wicket. And he said, we've only bowled 11 overs. How come that much has come off in such a short time? And I probably think it's a fair question, really. Here it is, the pitch. It's been cut up pretty hard, and that little patch there for the bowlers follow through this shirt tells me that pitch is not hard at all. It's quite soft, and the faster bowlers will still nip the ball around early. That's off the edge, first runs, and it's actually going to be four. And Gillespie's not happy, and quite rightly so. That was a poor effort. Just not carrying. And we've seen three now off the edge, and none of them have carried. That's a big appeal, and now he's gone. Sachin's gone. We talked about the LBW, but it's gone the other side. Little faint edge. Perhaps he had that in the back of his mind. He's just fiddled outside the off stump, and I tell you what, it only just carried. What a blow. 29 for three. Just left him a little bit. Went hard at the ball for a player that's out of form. Hasn't played a lot of cricket of late. Alan Dar raises the left hand, as he so often does. And Gillespie, 19 wickets already in this series. What a player. And Tendorka, gone for five. BVS Laxman, very healthy average, just under 45. And uh, that best is against Australia, 281. He's been out of four. This is a big knock for him. Just 53 runs in, uh, in the series so far. He said the hour was going to be a big one. Who's going to take the points? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Up went the hands in the commentary box.
up with the hands of all the uh, players. He was right back. If he'd missed that, he was gone. Well, look, is he playing straight enough? Here's the ball. Went hard at it outside off stump, outside edge. Pretty good ball. That happens to a lot of players. There's not much you, he could have done, really. Balance a little bit all over the shop. Big nick there. And Alan Dar giving him out. Oh, that's gone. Got to be, yes, sir. Uh, Jason Gillespie again. Just got the one to go the other way. Laxman looking for it to come back on the back foot. Can't adjust. Well bowled, Jason Gillespie. 19 wickets to Jason Gillespie in this series. And by gee, what a series he's having. Seam up. A ball that just dipped away. Outside edge. Just a feather. As Neil Diamond said, what a beautiful noise to Adam Gilchrist there. And what a great start to Gillespie. And he's got three for 19 now. Laxman's gone for one. India all at sea. 31 for four. poor one to end the over but successful 31 for four oh that's a good shot again just a little bit full looking perhaps for an additional swing and played nicely that time just straight down the ground without too much effort just uh, leaning into it to get off the mark Just talking about that, you can have a, a close look. You can see where the little skid marks of uh, where the bowler is. And with Glenn McGrath pitching so many deliveries all in the right spot, the odd one does this. Very disconcerting for the batsman and mentally tough. You've got to put that out of your mind and say that only happens every so often. Play the next ball on its merits. Easy to say, not so easy to do. Got him. Must be. Yes, sir. One away to Laxman. One back to Cape. And Jason Gillespie. Boy, is he on fire. Now it's 20 wickets for the series for Jason Gillespie. Oh, the tally just going brilliantly. Oh, Barry Richards. Yes, you are. But more importantly, Jason Gillespie is the bowling god here today at Mumbai. Beautiful delivery. Nip him back, and that's good night. You walk on that. That's just salmon trout, as we say. That's out. High fives everywhere. And by G, Mohammed Kaif, what was he doing there? He's been knocked over for two. India, 33 for five. Dinesh Kartek comes to the crease. And that was the pad first. Big appeal. Gone down to a third man. What's the umpire going to give? Runs, because it's come pad and then bat so he's off the mark first runs in his test career good shot should be four perhaps gillespie just a bit too eager there to pick up a wicket early for once he's bowled a full length delivery on middle stump it balanced sanjay to play a shot through mid wicket on a slowish pitch Keep it on the ground requires a lot of balance and a steady head. And that this is a shot of a batsman. You can understand why there is an average of 43 plus. Bowled in, the Yorker. He's done it well, Michael Kasparovitz. There's the little wink. They had it in the back of their mind. And the young man is on his way. More despair for the Indian fans. And a lot of jubilation for the fanatics out there. And Michael Kasprovich, he's played an important part in this Australian attack. Beautifully bold delivery. Fuller length. There was a hit to swing. Dinesh Karthik made the length wrong. Thought it was the half volley. Trying to go for the big drive. Gone through the gate. And he's gone. Gone for good in his first outing in Test Match cricket. Dinesh Karthik. Big wicket for Kasprovich. It's 46 for 6. Beautifully played. And he won't mind that. Michael Kasprovitz, four in the end. And he's hitting against the swing, so Kasprovitz will not mind that. 50 up for India. That's four more. Looking for that one that goes away off the seam, inviting the drive, but to the batsman on top of it this time. 
Done it again. Same result, this time in front. Into double figures for Kumble. 59 for six. Here we are. Nathan Horitz with his off spinners. Man making his test debut. I had a bet with the curator at the start of the test match that the ball will spin on day one. He's won the bet. No spinner bowled on day one, but I have a feeling the first over from Nathan Horitz with his off spinners. Get the ball to spin. And it's spun. His first ball in test cricket, he would have been very nervous, wouldn't he, at the top of his mark and running in and here it is here, upright. He has been known back in Australia not to be a huge turn of the ball. Oh, uh, is it a wicket in the first over? Yes, it is. Is it a special club now, Nathan Horitz, for picking a wicket the first over of his career? Top of the head that come to my mind, in fact, uh, maybe on this very ground, Chris Cowdery of England got a wicket in his first over. Here it is. Well, what a moment it is for him. Spahn and kicked, it's hit right off the splice, in the air, and he doesn't miss any, even with a broken thumb, and what a great start from him. He's got a wicket, a test wicket in his first over. Many other people have taken 50 overs to get it. And it's his third ball, he's got a wicket, and Il Kumble goes for 16. India are in all sorts of trouble at 68 for 7. Harbhajan Singh has got one run of a very risky shot. He's on strike to Glenn McGrath. And that's how he plays. It's all arms when it comes to Harbhajan Singh, and that's four to India. This guy's a dangerous player, and I like the way he plays because he's always consistent in what he does, no matter whether they're 73 for 7 or they're 407 for 7. He still go for his shots, and that's the way he should play. Blocking and working the ball around will not get you a score over 200. They have to be a bit aggressive, and Glenn McGrath knows that he's up against it here. A bit like Sea Wagon away, Harbhajan. That's another four to Harbhajan Singh. Attempted Yorker taken on the full. Something to cheer about for this Mumbai crowd. We may have been depressed until now. Very good over. In the over, 81 for 7. Mm. Brings out the worst in the opposition, Arbhajan Singh. There it is. This is what you meant by chin music, is it? Moving of the chin and get some music. He's gone for the big one. It's not David's style, but it's effective and six priceless runs for India at this stage. It's also the end of the over. Eight runs coming off it. It's 89 for seven. Finally, we've seen Raul Dravid playing a couple of shots here now he's got 29 from 87 balls three fours one six and a big one here on one knee the bat pads are worrying him he said right i'm going to give it some didn't quite get in the slot didn't quite get in the middle of the bat but muscled it over and it's gone for a six well, that's nicely played well it's working on getting it further outside off stump because of the amount of spin on this occasion the man himself who's going to be bowling and turning the ball a lot, Abhijan Singh, hits that for four. Brings up the 100, and he for seven. And nicely played in the end. Well controlled by Harbhajan Singh. Just marginally short for him to make the adjustment. Had enough time to read the ball off the pitch. And the second 50 is coming very good time indeed. After the early loss of too many wickets. Partnership worth 32. And should be gone. I'm sure there's an inside edge. Rudy Kurtzen, he's got the slow raise of the finger. Two for Horitz. And he only had to get that ball in the right area. The pitch is going to do the rest. The rest, this really is a turning track here in Mumbai. And it's very well bowled indeed. Lower trajectory, not giving the batsman any chance to come down the pitch. Perfect length in two miles where to go front foot or to the back foot. And he's taken a simple catch. Simon Kadich, Harbhajan Singh, disappointed walk. He's gone for 14. It's 100 for 8. 
great change in angle. We've seen a lot of bowlers wait a little too long to go around the stumps to the left-hander, but this is absolutely fantastic from Horitz. The drift into the left-hander. No clue, Murli Karthik. Almost too much spin, isn't it? Going too... Uh, if he keeps playing with his batting pad close together, that sort of thing's going to happen. A big edge, and once again, the finger goes up. There was not much of an appeal there from Nathan Horrett, so I don't know that... He, he obviously didn't hear anything. It was a flick. That's why everyone around the bat went up. It was just a little feather. So he got the glove, and Horace hasn't heard it. Big appeal from behind the stumps. And then you realize this, the finger's gone up. Rudy Kurtzel had no doubts in his mind whatsoever. And his third wicket, what a spell he's going through. Karthik gone for duck, it's one or two for nine. Mm, worth a shout, definitely worth a shout. We find with Casper, so if he gets it right, he and ball starting to dart back into the right-handers. And you see the reverse swing, and just doing too much. Definitely going to go on and miss leg stump by quite a way in the end, but there's big movement there for Kaspervitz. That's why he can be very dangerous in India. That's why he's playing in front of the likes of Brett Lee. And bold, smart bowling. Right up in the block hole, it was a Yorker. It only took him two deliveries to get the radar right. And I wonder if Rahul Dravid was happy taking that single now, the first ball. India have struggled throughout this whole innings, and now it comes to an end. Great bowling performance by Australia. Once again, the reverse swing. Leg nowhere near the line of the ball. In fact, the leg coming after he's missed the ball. And Kasparovic has performed once again. He's just picked up two wickets, but he's making a good contribution when he bowls to the middle of the spell. And Zahir Khan disappointing again. And India, 104 all out. And the Australians will certainly think they've done a great job here after losing the toss. But not too much joy for the Indians, apart from the fact they won the toss. Rahul Dravid, only the man fighting it out, unbeaten in the end. And just three men, Dinesh Karthik, Anil Kumble, and Harbhajan Singh getting into the double figures. The rest of them would like to forget this outing. Well, four bowlers, McGrath, one for 35, four for 29, Jason Gillespie. He has been the trump card for Australia. They've all contributed, but Gillespie has been outstanding. Kaspervitz, two for 11, closed it up nicely. Nathan Horitz in his debut test match, three for 16. What a start. It's time to celebrate. Inside Cricket's back for another bumper season. Wow, it's going to be exciting. Join host Brendan Julian and our panel of Cricket and Greats for an upfront look at the game. I think at the moment he's bowling pies. From local to international, Australia's most informative cricketing show has got the game covered. I'm expecting big things. <sighs> got to be so careful what I say now. Inside Cricket returns Tuesday, 7.30, Fox Sports 1. Go Harvey Norman now for 18 months interest-free terms. No deposit, no interest, no repayments till 2006. What a deal. Buy now and pay absolutely nothing for 18 months. Electrical, computers and communications, furniture and bedding and bedroom furniture, bed linen and much more. 18 months interest-free terms. No deposit, no interest, no repayments till 2006. Minimum purchase $500. Conditions, fees and charges apply. See store for details. 18 months interest-free now at Harvey Norman. Don't miss it. Smith, if you could please fill these out. That's fine, but there will be some costs incurred for my time, travel and postage. And postage? Yes, it's part of my standard fee structure. <laughs> but you're sitting right here. You can apply for a postage refund, but remember, the clock is ticking away. And I do charge in six minute increments. At Colonial First State, we're leading the industry by lowering fees. The new look Camry Sportivo V6 with responsive all alloy quad cam engine, sports tuned suspension, 
with aerodynamic body kit and sports suits. You know, something that Justin Langer and Matthew Hayden would have done right through their time in the field was just talk to each other. And they would have probably said, gee, this, this pitch isn't the best. It's going to be really hard to bat on. You know, and they would have just been coming up with a strategy. How are we best to play on it? Individually, they'd be thinking, well, this isn't the strength of my game. For Matthew Hayden, he's a powerful player down the ground. But he's also good in the sweep shot. I think we'll, we'll see Matthew Hayden adopt the sweep shot like we saw him in 2001. Justin Langer, he likes to play the sweep shot. Doesn't get that big stride, front foot stride, so he might just nurdle it round till the spinners come on and then look to play square of the wicket, sweep shot and cut shot. But they will have been thinking about it, talking to each other. Now they're trying to execute their plan. Well, Sachin Tendulkar is not bowling. Harbhajan Singh just had a sneaking suspicion that given the way Horat's got the turn, bounce at times, Dravid, and, and also Dravid was out there facing, sort of, he would have thought to himself, get Budgie, I'll get Harbhajan Singh, my off spinner, into the attack as early as I can, and here he is with a new ball. And against opening batsmen who are not used to facing spinners straight off, I think the only difficulty for Harbhajan is gripping the ball. It's still very shiny. And that's a lovely shot from Justin Langer. That's going to be the issue. Can he control it? Is it going to slip out of his hand? And positive stroke, positive start from Langer. He's going to jump on anything in his zone. And I think he will be trying to look to play it off the back foot as late as possible. Now the pull shot. And that will be for really well played. Never seen... Justin Langer sweep with the same effect of that, that Matthew Hayden can, but on this occasion, this is out of the sweet spot. And just behind square, very hard to set a field for when you hit it that hard. Look how hard the ball is, it's raced to the boundary. And here's that full length that you've mentioned, Barry. And now there's more chat going on. Hobbajan likes to get involved. He got in, uh, involved with McGraw. Now he's getting involved with Langer. Gets this one in the air. A diving drop. It was a big dive to his left. Savard couldn't hang on to it. It was a fantastic attempt, but you just feel India need to take these if they're to stay in this test match. He said there'd be an opportunity, and I don't think that's as hard as he's made it look. In the end, that should have been caught at test level. There were going to be opportunities presented. India, with a small total, had to take them. Already a laugh for Langer. Zahir Khan strikes. Langer, disappointed with himself, just followed it a little bit. He'd left so well, but this time... Zaki, Zahir Khan rather has outsmarted Justin Langer. The game's on. Once again, we see Zahir Khan bowling well. He's back in form, and this is a lovely area to a left-hander. Just moving away and carries nicely to Rahul Dravid. Nothing wrong with that catching technique. And the first breakthrough, crucial for India to get off to this quick start. 17 for one. Well, welcome back to Test Cricket, Skipper. Ricky Ponning, he's back in the side and he's back in his beloved position, number three. Last time he was in India, he batted at six and finished the tour, having batted five times with an average of 3.4 and a high score of 11. And from memory, it was coming out against the, the likes of Kumble and Harvajan Singh. And a play and miss to start, that angle. And that's a nice shot down the ground. We haven't seen too many of them so far in this test match. And it's going to run all the way. Not only is he a natural striker, he's a natural timer of the ball. 23 for one. Oh, lovely. 
nice shot. That's going, going, gone. Big one. Matty Hayden at his best. End of the over, 33 for one. It's been subdued for a long time, Matty Hayden. Just waited for a little bit of air from Harbhajan Singh. Mm -hmm. Good use of the feet, all in perfect position to execute the shot. And did he hit it well? Many a mile in the middle of the second tier. What a great shot that is. Well, the point for me, I, what do you think about the mid wicket? I, I would like to leave that open. There he is there. We want to entice Ponting. We want to hit the ball through there. Now, Anil Kumble is not a big turner of the ball, so for him to bowl a stump to stump line. Ah! Huge chance there and given. I honestly thought the height was only the major problem. Ricky Ponting's not happy with the decision. Alam Dar's given it out, but the height was the major one. It was worth the shout. Oh, it was worth the shout. Great start to Anil Kumble. Wicked in his fourth, third ball. The quicker delivery. Hastening onto the batsman, hitting him just on the upper thigh, on the hind leg. May have missed the off stump, but Alim Dar thought about it for a long, hard while and decided Ricky Ponting has to go. He's gone for 11, 37 for two. Damian Martin hasn't he had a wonderful tour? He really enjoyed India here. 389 runs. Look at that for a series. Oh, you dream of it. Look at it. Really in good nick. Oh, 65. And the average 200s, 150. A quick single off the mark. Good batting. First wicket final couple. Well, hitting him on the back leg was the height good enough just for a moment thought that he was squatting he was just going down on his knee to play the shot oh big element of doubt for me yeah but this is the angle that i reckon on impact there i reckon it would have hit the top of the bale ricky ponning won't agree he squatted but big appeal it took a while to give that out he can't believe it ricky in the air Fair bit of bat on it, one thinks. Might run away for four, and it will. It's his first boundary. Six run fr from the over, 44 for two. Yes. And now Matthew Hayden's got a single, so rotating the strike. Tempered googly. Too short. Well, the Australians have been so flexible right through the series with their approach. And once they got India out for 104, this was expected. They'd be a lot more busy with their batting. Look at every scoring opportunity. There's the sweep. And that's four. As simple as that. 55 for two. Mike, Mike. Taken. No. He spilled it. And I think he had it in both hands. That, that came straight off the bat. And it's Gautam Gambhir at Silly Point. We talked about those half chances having to be taken. He almost had it. And as he fell over, it didn't quite feel right in his hands. He tried to make the adjustment and it popped out. Two have been put down. On a pitch like this, Barry, you can go to the young man and tell him, wait, another will come. And he's in the hot seat, a rot. Played back to one that he should have probably gone forward to. Just bounced on him a bit. I would have seen it all the way. It didn't go particularly fast. And he's made a little bit of a hash of it. Here it is. What a time. This was convincing. Well, we talked about it. Down the wicket for Hayden, and he's uh, committed himself. The second six for uh, Matthew Hayden. One uh, went a long way off Habajan Singh. Always from the moment it left his hand, he was down there. Read it as the googly and hit it with the spin a long way.
and then the sweep shot and that's for there was a fielder there on the leg side we had no chance that's the flat bat one that we talked about that you hit in front of square almost a slog sweep enormously powerful and both these batsmen can play it so well tough for the bowlers big over for australia another good shot to mid off miss field zahir khan the fielder 12 runs so far from this over good one for australia first the six his second of the innings and then the big sweep shot actually uh, may have misread the length but good adjustment to get the four end of the over 72 for two and the man has just come up bit of a misfield or a mix-up i should have said between the wickets but gets home comfortably really need to take every chance that comes and i hate to say it but that was a sitter just he had a lot of time he moved well and actually hit him high on the hand almost on the wrist maybe he saw it early was enthusiastic and just went too hard at the ball but in the air matthew hayden is launching them another six to the big fellow such a strong hitter powerful hitter and indy won't forget that first innings in 2001 he scored 119 is he going to do the same here well he's been there for 70 balls this is the 71st and the third time it's disappeared out of the boundary murli kartik has the tendency to fly the ball in the air good opportunity for the batsman to use his feet and look at the transfer body weight oh boy if he hits it they stay hit strike rate improving has worked his way into this innings Matty Hayden I'm just seeing a change in his mode too I mean apart from the obvious he's sitting big shots into the grandstand he's just in a he looks in control and as bad as this pitch is the longer you're out there the easier it gets and that is a shout what's going to happen and out no worries there from matthew hayden i think he looked guilty just a little flick on the inside edge or glove and this is a big wicket huge wicket for india they needed to get him out was looking very dangerous indeed in the last few hours matthew hayden and murli karthik once again doing it for india flatter trajectory bit of inside edge and a very good catch reaction catch the players were quite confident. Murli Karthik pleading with the umpire. Rudy Kirsten always takes his time. And up went the finger. Big wicket for India. The first one for Karthik. Hayden, gone for 35. It's 81 for 3. A little bit of a difference here for Simon Cadage. He comes in at number 5. He's played up to this point in the series at number 3. With Ricky Ponting out. He's now down the order. And... A very different proposition coming out against the two spinners. Once again, the wicket, Matthew Hayden, has been starting to use his feet. He's down, and no doubt for me, there's an inside edge. If you look closely, it can be an optical illusion, and you think, maybe not, but definite inside edge. Certainly no doubt from the, all the fielders around the bat, including the bowler. worth a shout it really is it was outside the line a lot of guesswork there from the umpire that's why it's such a difficult decision to make but i think damian martin's gonna have to watch letting the ball go in this fashion and he's not made a shot at this oh very tight one i think that was gone gone for me he's not playing a shot doesn't matter where the impact is absolutely no doubt shiver absolutely no doubt that was out that is going to go on and hit middle stump at worst middle and leg the line of the 
ball. Let's hit him on the knee and the front pad. This will give us a good angle. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And that's going to be a big chance. It is another back pad. There's a look of disgust from Simon Cadditch. He doesn't feel he got a feather on it. Very similar to the mode in which Matthew Hayden got out. Trying to advance, misreading the length, and then ball flying out to the men in close. Well, this has been the series for walkers. But Simon Cadditch doesn't walk. We'll take another close look. Well, 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 very tight. Hitting the tight pad and goes much faster if it's made contact with the bat of the short leg fielder. So kind of Simon Cat is disappointed. He's gone for seven. It's 101 for four. Young Michael Clark there when he into his fourth test match debuted in the first one at Bangalore and straight away down the ground. Made that beautifully. Oh, go nice and straight. Simon Cadditch came down. He's got a feeling, and knowing Simon Cadditch extremely well, this reaction, he's a very honest man. I think that is straight off the thigh guard. And it was more the, the reaction he made that suggests that there is no bat on this, this, this at all. Yeah, he's one back to the Indians. Everybody jumping for joy in the Indian camp. They had no hesitation. Well, look at this. It's going all the way. He's just got to the crease. He had one single before that, and he bangs a straight six. The beauty of youth. The beauty of playing with no fear. And what has the music done to him? He's listening to a lot of music before he came into bat. And the sound of the ball hitting the middle would have sounded a lot better. In the air again. And no problem whatsoever. Hitting against the spin. Not that Kumble is a big turner of the ball, but never out of control of that shot. Gee, feet are moving so quickly today. The most difficult shot to play. And he's executed it so very easily. Nicely balanced, good flow of the bat. And look at the transfer of body weight. And the appreciation from the big man himself, Merv Hughes. Straight to the fielder and dropped again. Sabag. It got to him quickly. But we're talking about the top level here. We're talking about India trying to make some ground in this series. Well, this is the second catch he's put down. The first one more difficult. And this was a simpler chance and he grabbed at it Virendra Sevak disbelief in the face of the spectators dear oh dear what's Harbhajan got to do to pick up a wicket and gone as easy as a like Kartik his first stumping jumping for joy he was always taking a risk Michael Clark coming down almost every ball and Kumble getting some good turn you'll be happy with this one shiva oh that's a beauty that really is a beauty a little slower in the air adjusting the length of the last moment dropping fractionally short beaten in the air and off the pitch and dinesh karthik is delighted happiest moment for him first victim for him in test match cricket and the sensational clock has to depart for 17 it's 121 for five special player one off but he's going to have to produce all his experience and talents to get runs on this pitch. Mm. Nearly hit it straight to the man in close. 122 for five. Here's the sweep shot. It's in the gap. Sehwag has given up the chase. That's four to Adam Gilchrist. Few more runs. That's skillful cricket there from Adam Gilchrist. He saw the wrong one from Anil Kumble, and that's four excellent runs. He's such a dangerous player in this situation. Brilliant shot. He picked the wrong one here. The length wasn't that short. It's almost in the keeper's gloves when he's cut it away. 
the wrong and at the back of the hand picked it very well as all keepers do or good ones anyway here's the big one and it timed it so well and i'm surprised it's still in the ground oh that's a big one that one's got frequent flyer points on it it's gone that far he's just made up his mind he's going to tack it will here down the pitch bang but the follow-through high grip and he's hit that right in the middle it was the wrong and against the spin as well <laughs> excuse me well that is traveled what 90 meters We're in the same arc. He's taking a real battering. He's missed this one. I thought he had it covered up. I think uh, he just needs to be moved from that position. It's just not getting any better. It might be time now for the skipper, Roll Driver, to bring them all in for a second. Hit it right off the middle again. The ball's spinning. It's bouncing. It's not the flattest ground here, and it's gone through the legs. Could be off the gloves. The catch has been claimed. Rudy Kurtzen is not convinced. He doesn't walk. He didn't hit it. That's it. And Rudy looked up. He knows that... He knows that uh, Gilchrist didn't hit it. Let's have a look here. Swing through the ball. It's hit him on the elbow and on the way through. Fair enough. Oh, oh, no hassles appealing. But good decision by Rudy Kurtzen. And to be fair to the wicketkeeper, he didn't appeal at all. Just looking at the umpire and seeing the effect of the others um, uh, appealing. This time, Adam Gilchrist walks. He's an amazing uh, cricketer, this man. Didn't walk the first time, you said immediately, couldn't be out. This time, he's relieved Rudy Kurtzen of a difficult moment to make that uh, very difficult choice whether the batsman had hit the ball. Just well caught there by Muhammad Kaif and it was either going to be Murali or Gilchrist was going to win this game and Gilchrist lose 26 and the Australians 157 for 6 oh, yeah! I think he's hit his boot oh he's given him I thought it hit his boot but Kumble you talked about the Yorker just a little inside edge post and catchers have done their job again this game is alive and well but who's going to win it? Well, they're 63 ahead at this stage, the Australians, and Anil Kumble. Another wicket for him, his fourth, looking for the fuller length delivery, which has made Jason Gillespie play at it. A healthy inside edge, and catches don't get easier than this at short leg. Mohamed Kev, he is fantastic, and Anil Kumble has been expensive, but he's picked up important wickets. Gillespie gone for two, it's 167 for seven. Well played, Damien Martin, 50. That is uh, more valuable than a lot of other hundreds you'll see. If you factor in the difficulty. Just two boundaries in that 50. And a very, very good comp contribution. The strike rate just under 48. I tell you, this is worth 100. This is where I have a problem with stats. How do you, how do you write this on a scale of one to ten this is nine and a half and you get other knocks 150 200 not out and they're on about three and that's the trouble that every fact when you have these stats nothing can make up for something as valuable as that whoopsie daisy 170 for seven Getting back to what Barry Richards was saying, I'm sure Damien Martin would agree with what, he, what he's mentioned. A 9 out of 10 rating for this innings. 50 runs here is almost worth 100. Batting conditions, so difficult. It's up in the air. It's a sky up. And he's taken a very good catch. So Horitz has got himself a duck in the first innings. This career picked up three wickets with his off spinners but taking a bit of a chance here then come off a very good catch by Mahmoud Singh not only a good catch but five wickets to Anil Kumble 
very difficult chances. They look easy because they go straight up in the air. The expectation is they're going to be caught, but they swirl around. You could see Harbajan just correcting himself. Porritt's gone for a duck, 171 for eight. Four runs and easy as you like. Good use of the feet and a nice flick into the gap. And there we see Michael Kasovic going for aggression and it working. And bold. Got through it inside edge. Just hurried him up. Damian Martin, very valuable innings, comes to an end and deception from the bowler. As you said, you're never in. He's playing so well, batting on 55. You could say Murli Karthik was a trifle luckier. It's a short ball looking to just play on the leg side, getting the inside edge. But it just came on a bit too quickly than he expected, and maybe he played for a little more turn, which wasn't there. So Damon Martin gone now for 55. Australia 184 for nine. And in the gap, he found, <laughs> finds it once again. He's hit across the spin, but it hits the middle of the bat. And four runs, 193 for nine. Now yeah, the pull shot, that's going to beat the fielder. He has timed that superbly. Here we go. 198 for nine. Yeah, it's nicely played. It wasn't that short, and he's just waited on it. And I think the most important thing with that shot is he watched the ball right onto the bat. Yeah, he didn't get too excited. It brings up the 200, and uh, that's a bonus. Nice little partnership of uh, 18 between these two. Watch how he just uh, he waits and waits and then just flicks it away. That's a very good shot. Beautifully played. 98 the lead. Big swing in the air. It's a fly ball. Someone getting underneath it, and that's it. Anil Kornblay takes the catch. That ends the rights, the last rights here for this Australian innings. Leading by 99. And it's very well bowled to Kornblay. He's got a five-wicket haul. And good to see Muley Kartik get a four wickets for this particular innings. Very, very handy lead. Didn't quite get uh, over the top of it, Michael Kasprovitz. He played well for his 19, though. Scooped it in the air, catching practice. Kumble does the rest. Kartik gets four. The Australians here, all out for 203. Lots of starts. That's one thing they could take out of it. Lange got a start for 12. Hayden 35. Ponting 11. Martin, who's in great form at the moment, 55. Another start to Clark, 17. Gilchrist got 26. Six and smashed them around. And Kaspervich got a start there of 19. McGrath not out nine. All out for 203. There's the bowling and the disappointment of John seeing only uh, 53 of 21 and no result. Kumble, 5 for 90, but for me, Murali Kartik bowled just as well. He got 4 for 44. The spinners have done their job. What can the opening batsman do? When they left Australia in late 1984, they were called the 8th Wallabies after convincing victories over England, Ireland, Wales and Scotland. They returned home undefeated in the test and with a new name. They had become the Grand, Grand Slam, Slam Wallabies. Wallabies. 20 years later, they're getting together to celebrate and you can be part of it. The 1984 Grand Slam Reunion Charity Dinner, Friday 12th of November at Darling Harbour. Go to rugby.com.au or phone 1300 300 661. A night of rugby nostalgia with Alan Jones and his team, including Slack, Oydeman and Far Jones. The 1984 Grand Slam Reunion Dinner. Go to rugby.com.au or phone 1300 300 661. Go Harvey Norman now for 18 months interest-free terms. No deposit, no interest, no repayments till 2006. What a deal. Buy now and pay absolutely nothing for 18 months. Electrical, computers and communications, furniture and bedding and bedroom furniture, bed linen and much more. 18 months interest-free terms. No deposit, no interest, no repayments till 2006. Minimum purchase $500. Conditions, fees and charges apply. See store for details. 18 months interest-free now at Harvey Norman. Don't miss it. Hi, I'd like
like to order a sandwich. What have you got? We've got a BLT on white, or a bacon sandwich with lettuce and tomato, or a salad sandwich with bacon. Okay, I'll have the BLT. Hot chips or french fries with that? I'll have the chips. At Colonial First State, we give you real investment choices. The new look Camry Sportivo V6 with responsive all alloy quad cam engine, sports tuned suspension, with aerodynamic body kit and sports seats. Runs. Only one, though. Well, Barry, you've been an opening batsman for many, many years. Are you surprised that, say, Seawag doesn't take the strike more often in an innings? Well, we used to rotate it. One innings for one of the batsmen, the other innings for the other. But it seems to be a preference of his to go down to the non-strikers in, and you, know, you don't know whether that's a superstition. So often it uh, could be. Or maybe he just wants to get adjusted to the life by standing down the other end. But you'd think that the senior player would at least do it once out of the two, especially when you've uh, got a guy that's making uh, his debut in Test cricket. But that's not uh, the way he likes it. But eventually he's got down there, and he's got a couple of balls to face. Three, and a gully waiting. Oh, it's a big shout going down leg. Oh, he just did too much. <laughs> it's been that kind of test match. He had one from uh, Sachin Tendulkar, which uh, when he saw again, uh, Rudy thought, oh, maybe. And this one, I think, uh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Would that have grazed the legs? Thump. Mm. <laughs> That's when you hate being an umpire. A beautiful shot. How straight was that? He's in the slot, admittedly, but you haven't seen too many big drives like that in this match. And he's gone. Gautam Gambhir for the second time in this test match. Has not got too many runs, and Glenn McGrath has a point to prove to his captain, not getting the new ball last evening. Strikes in his first over, and a big setback for India. Gambier, well, he had to get through this early period. That is the, a must from all batsmen. And Michael Clark has been working on his slips fielding and it just clung on in those fingers. His 50, 50th wicket against India, Glenn McGrath, and early damage done for Australia. Not the start India wanted, five for one. Rahul Dravid is looking for a little bit of a repeat performance in Calcutta, I think. BBS Latchman is coming in at number three. He's batted five right through this series. He's terribly out of Nick. Struggling for form. And a play and a miss. It's been uh, something we've seen a lot of throughout. He's, he's shuffling at the crease. He's got no confidence with his footwork whatsoever. Gambier has had a horrid test match. We see a ball in the right area from Glenn McGrath, and that was probably why Barry Richards and myself thought that he should have bowled last night. And also the angle of the bat, he was looking to play to mid-on, the ball deviating away from Gautam Gambhir. Well, he's off the mark. He's been promoted to three for this second innings, and nothing convincing about that. And that's beautiful. That's more like it. And that's patience will allow the bats, the, well you, the bowler will have to come at you and then you get scoring opportunity. 10 for one. Oh, that's gone. Has to be absolutely out. This pitch, we know there's a lot of demons, but the demons have gone into the heads of all these players, the Indian batsmen makes it very difficult to let a ball go when it darts back where you don't know what it's going to do 
this has come back a mile. And he's played no shot at it again. Easiest decision for any umpire to make. And Glenn McGrath is getting closer to Richie Benno. Big disappointment again and a big blow for India. 14 for two. What Sachin Tendulkar gotten off of for us today. We've seen a very placid, a very negative approach so far from his batting. And I have to say that these pitch conditions aren't conducive to any batsman tearing a bowling attack apart, particularly an Australian bowling lineup. End of another fine over from Glenn McGrath. 14 for two. India 104 in the first innings. Australia responded with 203 and India 15 for two. That one will run away and a very handy boundary to Sachin Tendulkar. He's off the mark. And add another four, but that was a bit streaky. Should be another four. Three fours in the over. That's four. And Glenn McGraw has a class conceded a run in his fifth over. There it is. That's Vivius Lakshman at his best. And this is different. The promotion is a good idea. And just the Indians looking to play shots outside the off stump is also a very good idea. It's another four. It's happening in fours for India. Oh, he's not happy, is he? Mental game is going on. Glenn McGrath deliberately had VVS Lakshman waiting in his stance. And then VVS Lakshman, I think he's going to draw back. He is. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, it started with Glenn McGrath just shining the ball as VVS Lakshman was getting ready to take stance. And which meant that VVS Lakshman was waiting for a while for Glenn McGrath to run in. And then as a batsman does, to just get back at the bowler, when Glenn McGrath started running, Vivius Lakshman was taking his time. That's a very good shot. That's the way to play. 35 balls in the first inning, just one aggressive attempt in that innings. But today, it's more like the natural Tendulkar. Yeah, he's come out as if he wants to play, and he's making it look easy. On the up, open the blade up just a little bit. Good blade that he's got. Gets it in, nearly in the middle of the bat. Didn't quite time it as well. Bit high on the blade. That's gone for four. Four boundaries now. Is that the sign? A definitive moment for me now. This last ten minutes here. Is the, is the game changing to India's way? There it is, Vivius Lakshman. He's just finding his gears here. He's just got himself into the third. That's his best shot for me today. The ball nipping back. He hasn't played that shot at all well right throughout this whole series. He hasn't enjoyed the ball coming back into him. And it's just perfect. Kasperovic is disappointed that the mid on was too close there. Glenn McGrath, I'll send him a little bit deeper here. He should have cut that one off. But. That's a nice shot indeed. You like that better, Dino? <laughs> Get three for it. But for some reason, Vivius Lutzman was sprinting the third. I thought with the ball going the way it did, it would have been comfortable three. Lovely shot. That's Sachin of old. Yep. 
That's going to happen pretty regularly. He knows, and he's looking for two, and he's going to get it. There's been a change in attitude as far as the batting has gone. But what's even more heartening to see is the running between wickets. Taking the fielder on in the deep. Then he realizes runs it at a premium. Any other batsman would have just taken the single, but Tendulka easily picks up two. Chaka, and it's gone. No man in the deep, and that could be expected because the pitch is turning a lot, and you'll want to attack the batsman. And even on a pitch where it's turning square and bouncing, you've got to be precise with your line and length, otherwise you'll get hit for runs. Vivius Lushman must have been delighted when he picked the length. Have a look at that. Now we're seeing what's going to happen. We're seeing Nathan Horrocks being targeted. Now just imagine if you're Nathan Horrocks in your first test match and you're bowling to Sachin Tendulkar and VVS Latchman. I wonder who's going to win the mental battle. Again, these two batsmen now more confident. He'll have his work cut out. There's no doubt about it. Horitz will learn some lessons here in the second innings. Just like that. Now, this is Tendulkar that we've seen over the years. Now, this is a big shot that I've seen from the man after a long, long time. How's the tennis elbow, Sachin? It's back. It's okay. That has gone many a mile into the stand. In fact, it might have knocked one of the fanatics or one of the Aussie supporters out that's gone into that area. Just a reminder what this man is capable of. We haven't seen it for a while, and that very typical little nod of the head that he's got. It's an idiosyncrasy of Sachin Tendulkar. He sort of nods his head every now and then. This is exciting stuff. We are seeing a big turnaround in this test match. India very much in this game. Here he goes again, not as big, but he'll get four for it. Can't tell you the last time I've seen him play shots like this in the air. It was a natural shot for him. He's played a lot, but off late, it's been missing from his armory. But today, it's been uh, rediscovered. Test 50 for Sachin Tendulkar. Seventh against Australia. And sixth on his home ground. Well, that was early this morning, those two fours. Just got things going. And then he started with a more aggressive approach. Glorious cover drive. And then the damage in the last Horrocks over. That shot was huge. Two in a row. Yes! And oh! close. It was a definite inside edge. Sorry. Just didn't loft high enough. Right, Simon Caddish tried his best but couldn't get there. Very lucky. We were talking about the pad, but this one didn't bounce too much. Right, definite glove. And may have hit the tie pad, so it was oh. no, maybe a flick of the pad as well but so lucky Vivius Lakshman that didn't carry scores are level I know who I'd rather be right now it was the Australians this morning but I think I've changed horses Just open the blade up a little bit. The quick outfields. And another boundary. Big slog sweep in the air. This could be out. And gone. Big wicket to Nathan Horitz. That's a huge wicket. Very good coverage to the ground there by the young Michael Clark. An older player might never have got the cover the ground that the youngster did. But finally a false shot from the great session Tendulkar and the youngster.
still struck again for Australia. Very tough to play this shot across the line when there's a little bit of uneven bounce, but full marks to Michael Clark. Didn't he make some ground? I thought he had no chance uh, initially, but it hung in the air for a while. And suddenly, Sachin Tendulkar, the same as uh, Damian Martin, out for 55. That's a huge wicket, 105 for three. The wall, the skipper, Rahul Dravid. Look at those numbers, average 57, and his best 270. Five runs short of 7,000 test runs. Young Nathan Horace, the debutante, knocking over the great Sachin Tendulkar, creating a false sweep. He gets his another wicket. He's got four now in the match. Another single there. Well, just a little bit of uneven bounce. It's hit the top edge. He's trying to hit it too hard, Sachin Tendulkar. And look at Michael Clark. He had a long way to go. Never took his eyes off the ball. Straight in the middle of the buckets. And wasn't there a celebration after that? Oh, beautiful shot. That really was a classy shot. A lot of people say there's a lot of risk there, but there's no slips. In the middle of the bat, ramped it away for four. Five from the over, 112 for three. Quick single, chance for a run out. It's not. And that's his 50. Good to see you back, VVS Laxman. 20th Test 50. Six against Australia. In the air. Gillespie. Oh, just wide of him, it's run away for four, so the, Australi the Australians are still attacking. They've got the, the mid on up, but Dravid, well, he's dicing with a lot of trouble here. He got a lot of elevation. He got it up high, Royal Dravid. He didn't get it all that far, and it hung in the area, tantalising for uh, Jason Gillespie for quite some time. Well, they're prepared to attack. Good tactics, 7,000 for uh, Royal Dravid. Every time he throws it up, he's going to be prepared to hit it over the top while they've got the men up. So it's a battle of wills between Ricky Ponting and Royal Driver, the two captains. There it is. Slightly slower, looking for more spin. Driver up and over. Oh, just close to the leg slip. Would have been one of the great catches of the century, really, if he, if he took that. The end of the over, it's all happening. 11 runs from it, 125 for three. Brilliant effort. It almost stuck. You can't anticipate it coming to you when they're looking to hit it down the ground and good reaction. And a bit unlucky for Michael Clark. It would have been his third catch. Oh, beautiful piece of work. It's, the question will be asked, but we are going to go to the third umpire just to see how Harry is up in the uh, match referee's box. Here it is here, and the ball is hit there. It's already hit. It's hit the bales. The bales are dislodged. Here we go. And, and I, I think correctly the umpires made the right decision but by gee that was real close it's been a shot that they've waited on the short ball from Horrocks and when you get it right it's all about the timing it's either going to be a single maybe two if you don't time it or you hit it hard enough in the gap a boundary Simon Cantich once again in the danger zone and now two full it's what boundary hitting can do. It upsets the bowler, upsets where they think they have to bowl it. And overcompensated on the short delivery prior. Now he dishes up a half volley. Catch! Yes. Thank God, what a beautiful catch! Nathan Horitz. Well, it was hit back. 
real firmly and Lachman is walking back to the pavilion. Can you believe it? Deceived in the air, bit more fly, dipping on the batsman and a great reaction catch from Nathan Horitz. He's relieved, going for a couple of boundaries in the last two delivery. And what a way to come back to dismiss Vivius Lachman who's well settled, gone for 69, it's 153 for four. And maybe there's a flick on the way through. Everyone around the bat feels that that might have flicked the glove. Ricky Ponning almost made a charge to the bowler. And Gilly saying, that was off your glove. <laughs> so I think Mohamed Kaif is proving in the series he's not a walker. Mohamed Kaif has got the one day experience this fella and he's using it in a test match well this one could be his first wicket in test cricket it is just a little flick on the outside edge of Rahul Dravid and not a bad one to have as your first up wicket in test cricket either, Barry. <laughs> My word, it's a good one, Roll Driver. You claim that Nathan Horrocks a debut. He got Tendulkar out and now. Well, did it. Might have flicked the thumb. I reckon it flicked the thumb of the right hand. Just a little touch on the thumb as it went past. It didn't hit the bat, hit the thumb. Good decision from Rudy Kutzen. He's got to go. 182 for five. Nicely struck. So we'll play a beautiful on drive in that first innings. Almost to get off the mark as well for four. And here we go again. Catch. And oh, brilliant. Oh, <laughs> Ricky Bonning. <laughs> Arguably the best fielder in world cricket. I wonder why. <laughs> well, that's exactly why. What a brilliant catch that was. Because he was looking to play it on the leg side. A little bit of turn, leading edge. And he's awfully close. He's there for a bat pad. Very seldom do you catch it straight off the bat. And it's off the middle of the edge. Reaction time about uh, 0.16. Brilliant. And to his left hand. Kartik's got to go. He won't get out to a better catch on many occasions than that. 188 for six. Nice. Certainly gets through the overs quickly, Michael Clark. Very busy about his work. Oh! Worth a shout, very much so. A quick nod of the head before the finger raised. A dangerous leave. If you are going to keep the strike to keep the non-batsman at the non-striker's end, then offer your bat. Very, very risky move and he's padded up in both innings and he's being given out in both innings what a strange move from Muhammad Kaif all he had to do was pretend he was playing a shot and he didn't even do that ball just go is it turned enough for oh, I tell you what it's a close one but it's something you don't want to test the umpire doing that all he had to do was put his back next to his pad he would have got away with that in the end Michael Clark has got a second wicket and he's got a good one. 195 for seven. Outside yeah. and beautifully taken. He's got four. First time in first class cricket has got four wicket. And Matty Hayden's into the game with two caps. Four in his fifth over. It's a long walk for Hartridge. Turn of playing away from the body. Matty Hayden is a very reliable slip catcher. And he's turning a sensation with the ball now. He's contributed to this Australian outfit with the bat, and this time with the ball. Clark picking up his fourth wicket. Harbison gone for a duck. It's 195 for eight. Then the eighth wicket fell when they were 195. So as the ball gets older, when spinners bowl well, anything can happen. Ah! Bowling around his legs. He's got a Michelle Pfeiffer. Five wickets to the young pup. Michael Clark, he's got 100 on this tour. He's got five wickets. Happy birthday. Well, he's arrived. 
arrived on the scene with a bang. I've often called him a sensational cricketer, and I still maintain that he certainly is. Five wickets. Well, he's just been brought on as a change bowler. Can't ask for anything better. Murli Karthik too much inside the line. And he's a delighted man. He will remember this occasion for a long, long time. Michael Clark. Murli Karthik gone. It's 199 for nine. And you said Fafa. Michelle Fafa, did you? He certainly will remember that. And the Australians are delighted. The change has worked. And the ball goes up. He will treasure that. More than the 100, I think. In the air, oh, he's already taken one today to his left. And Neil Kumble realizes he has to get some runs here. <laughs> he's given him. Oh, look at that. The slow left up. And he's got six. Well done, Michael Clark. A brilliant performance by the youngster. The boy from Liverpool. He's had a fantastic series. The flags are waving. India lead by 106. The quicker delivery carrying on with the arm, straightening from wide as a stump, and I think it would have gone on to hit middle, middle leg. Very good decision, this one from Rudy Curtin. And this is the batting card. Kambir once again, going very early, so did Sivak. Devious Lakshman was a standout Indian batsman. Played extremely well for his 69. Tendulkar, first half century for him, dominated the bowlers. In the second half of the innings, Rahul Dravid workman life innings from him. Okay, and Dravid getting settling in and then getting out. And then finally, Michael Clark had a telling effect on the Indian batting lineup. Look at those bowling figures. Let's be, well, he didn't bowl that well today compared to the rest of the series. No wicket for 47. Nathan Horrod's got two for 87. Be good performance. McGrath as normal. Two for 29. Absolute miser. Michael Kaspervich didn't get a wicket, but look at the last one. Michael Clark. 6.2 overs. No mains. Six for nine. That's right. Six for nine. Best ever figures here by an Australian here on this ground and India losing six for 23. So there's the match summary here. India all out for 104 in the first innings. Australia 203. India all out for 205. Laxman getting 69 and Tendulka 55, but the Australians only need 107 runs to win this match. Go Harvey Norman now for 18 months interest-free terms. No deposit, no interest, no repayments till 2006. What a deal. Buy now and pay absolutely nothing for 18 months. Electrical, computers and communications, furniture and bedding and bedroom furniture, bed linen and much more. 18 months interest-free terms. No deposit, no interest, no repayments till 2006. Minimum purchase $500. Conditions, fees and charges apply. See store for details. 18 months interest-free now at Harvey Norman. Don't miss it. What a trip. I went to the Australian Open with three mates and Han paid for it all. <laughs> we played in the Pro-Am with some of the greats. You know, Robert Allenby, Peter Lono. Stood up, he even gave me a few pointers on my short game. But the best part was the Open. We were inside the roped off areas, walking the course with the players and the caddies. You wouldn't believe how close you were to the action. Oh, I'll never forget it. Yes, win the Han Ultimate Golf Experience at the Australian Open. Enter now at foxsports.com.au. Long live the Speed Blitz Blues. Nikki, a Mr. Davies called. the home of the Davies family to speak to me say Albert Davies Albert Davies I'm sorry please say the name again Albert Davies Abu Dhabi does not live here please say the name again Albert Davies I'm sorry please say the name again Albert Davies at Colonial First Date you get to speak to a real person <laughs> Thank you.
107 runs to win. Zahi Khan falling to Justin Langer. Well, picked up Langer in the first innings. Zahi Khan, but he'll have to get wickets in a hurry. The Indians. Great expectations from the crowd here, from the spinners. And look at that Michael Clock. The fourth best figures in test matches here in Mumbai. Oh, and you've got your name there at number 10, Shiva. Six for 64 down the bottom. Just got your name in too, I noticed. It's long enough. Not forgotten. Six for nine. Can you believe that? Wow, what a performance. And God, he's gone. India in this. Don't worry about that. The Mumbai's gone wild. They've got to do a miracle, India, and it's starting to happen. Zayn Khan has had a fantastic series after the test match in Bangalore and is continuing the good work. Big, big wicket for India. It was important for them to pick up an early wicket. Nice scene in the corridor of uncertainty, and Dinesh Karthik is safe as a church. And that's the beauty. It's really got the Indians cracking now. It's none for one. Justin Langer gone. And Justin Langer in both the innings. It's a very good area to bowl at. We've seen the new ball. Bowl to good effect with the Australians. And look at the extra bounce. You bend your back, you get that much extra from the pitch. And Zahir Khan has done it fantastically. The job well started. Still quite a bit to do for the Indians. Nine more wickets. Beautiful shot. That'll go for four. That'll get her in some of the nerves in the Australian dressing room. Oh, magnificent. Welcome back, Ricky Ponting. Just to ease the pressure here. That's the way the Australians have to play when you're chasing low targets. Have had problems before chasing low ones. And beautiful shot. Three men in the covers. But he's still good enough to find the gap and great timing. Point cover, mid off. Comes a big square cut, that's four. He's got no chance there, Karthik, at the deep point. Another wicket, and they won't be sitting down. Biggest atmosphere in world cricket right here in Mumbai. That should be four. It's hit on the up, and they look to be more aggressive against Zahir Khan. Six runs of that over. It's 21 for one. Yeah. It's an edge, yes, and VBS Lakshman takes the catch on rebound. So Ricky Ponting's problems on Indian pitches continue. India have picked up their second wickets. It's 24 for two. Really Kartik, first delivery. Guess what? The 40,000 people are on their feet again. Look at that. Came off Dinesh Kartik. Some good fortune for India. And then balloon to Lachman. He wasn't going to miss that. No mistakes. Bringing out a bit of soccer prowess. He's gone for 12, Ricky Ponting. 24 for two. You can see the bowler bowling a quick left arm spinner there. Not too much of time for the batsman to react when it's quick in the air on a turning pitch. When it's slow in the air, you can somehow set yourself up as a batsman. Another good delivery, wanting the run. The crowd right behind the Indians. As far as they're concerned, the team has a chance here. And just noticing. Damian Martin using the same ploy as he does against Sarvajan Singh in terms of batting on about off stump. A little more dangerous, dangerous when the ball's spinning away because it'll open up a big LB chance or a misjudgment of leg stump being taken. Like that. Like that. Too far across. Very different when the ball's going away. India on a roll. You bet they are. And they missed the hat trick. 
but he's got three wickets in uh, two overs. Here it is, quick in the air, flatter trajectory, and that's as plumb as it can get. Damien Martin has gone for a Bombay duck. Australia 24 for three. My word, the game is on. Michael Clark, golden arm just a little while ago, now the pad's on. I tell you what, that's not far away. I think this is off the pads, just going too much. All these runs very variable. They'll end up with three. No. Well, did he, I don't know if you touched that personal opinion, but uh, they're much closer than I am. Whoopsie Daisy. There's a little bit of a mix up because uh, Simon Cadditch was slightly impeded by Habajan Singh. No fault of uh, Singh's, of course. He was after the ball, but it could have led to a little bit of a problem. And 30 overs to bowl tonight. They've got through nine of those, so there's 21 uh, overs to go. Let's assume three. It's going to be here, right on line ball, <laughs> which way it's going to go. Nothing worse. Yeah. Is that out? Yes, it is. Beautifully bowled. It's turning so much. An extravagant drive was always going to be dangerous. Not a lot of experience on wickets like that for Simon Kedditch. He's gone. First wicket for Harbhajan Singh in this match, and he's a relief man, a very good length ball by Harbhajan Singh. Much fuller, inducing Simon Kattis to play at the ball, and Khan gets simpler to Rahul Dravid. Catch number 110 for the Indian skipper, and Harbhajan, he'll be a different bowler from here on. Simon Kattis, gone for one, 33 for four. That's just wide. I think that's come off the gloves. We'll have to wait for the umpire. He's either off the mark with three valuable runs. What does the umpire say? Yes, sir. Off the gloves. So he's off the mark. Not convincing. Dangerously. The intention was to play it, and he did play it. Just out of the reach of VVS Lakshman. Too short. Smashed away. Disappointing. Just short. Or was it dropped? And we said caught it slip. Almost. Well, because he was playing at it. The line was on the off stump. Plenty of turn on the pitch is this. He's played hard at that and not carrying just into short of Rahul Dravid. But every opportunity here for the bowler. <laughs> Nearly yoked himself. Hello, oh, Ellis. The last six Indian wickets fell for 23. The first four Australians for 33. We've had 10 wickets for 56. As they say in the business, that's entertainment. An eight to left arm spin. By bowling quicker through the air, he's not giving the batsman enough time to get down the pitch, which is a good ploy by Murli Karthik. Yeah, and if he keeps him quiet, he's got to think of another option. That means a sweep playing across the line. Good runs. Four. Well, that's well timed. I thought it had come off the bottom initially. He's such a good timer of the ball, though. Uh, 44 for four. Over the top, but not convincing. Very high again. Four. Tell you what, trying to hit it long, and it just goes up. It doesn't go a long way because of the pitch. He would have had a little panic for a minute, Matthew Hayden, but he's got away with it with four. Bowled in, round his stumps. He didn't get the pads there. It was always going to happen. Matty Hayden, inelegant. But he's got to go. I just heard that little noise behind. <laughs> oh, is he delighted or what? This game is alive. 
really alive. Hayden on his way. Can India create history? Everybody here at the Wankhede Stadium believes so, and perseverance pays. Absolutely fantastic from Harbhajan Singh. Matty Hayden had played the big shot earlier in the year, was still going for the sweep and had to pay the price, a big, big price. And Harbhajan Singh has caught the hope. He knows the importance of picking up wickets in this innings. He could be the match winner that India are looking for. And he is doing it. Matty Hayden, ball for 24, it's 48 to 5. <laughs> I tell you what, no one's asleep in this stadium. They're all out of their seats, just about every ball. Well, looking at this movements by Michael Clark, what Murli Karthik needs to do is just bowl about two or three feet from where exactly he's bowling at the moment. Not change anything. So the change in length will be there without any deception. Michael Clark's also back in the pavilion. Six Australian wickets. What a victory this might be. It was always going to be tough once they got past the 100 mark. And it looks even tougher now. Indians on a roll. The danger is Michael Clark has to depart. And this man has pulled off a beauty. The arm ball didn't see too much of it in the first innings. And a magnificent delivery. Enjoy it, boy. You'll love it. You deserve this wicket. Very well planned. And the most difficult ball to bowl on a pitch where it's turning square. Clock down for seven. It's 48 for six. That should be four and could be buys. Most an impossible take for the wicket keeper, but that's four precious runs gone in extras. 55 for six. He's put it down, went out very quickly. Drop catch. Oh no, 56 for six. Well, it seemed like it went straight into his belly, this one, leading edge. Yep, straight into his belly, just couldn't hang on to it. This is another chance down his throat. India have their seventh wicket. Australia here, all at sea in Mumbai. Gilchrist, I thought, was the, uh, the last hope. It's possibly over now for the Aussies. This is a dream wicket. It's Adam Gilchrist, the last threat for India out of the way. They can only win from here. Sachin Tendulkar taking that catch in the deep. And the Mumbai lad is ecstatic. It's almost like a war cry there. Is India winning this match now? Just three wickets. And when you look at it, plenty of runs to get. 49 more runs to win. Gilchrist gone. Australia 58 for 7. And those famous words, it's all happening. Oh, it sure is. The bat pad was the, the play. I thought it had come back into the stumps because of the reaction. That's for, what a good shot that is, out of the blue. Crisp drive for four from Jason Gillespie. Slight relief for the Aussie supporters here in the stadium. There was a bit of a silence and they were able to get the flags up once again. That's a beautiful shot. Three for 12, Murli Karthik continues around the wicket. Well played, clipped away. They'll get two for it. Once again in the same region, Tendulkar this time might put some pressure on the batsman. No, it's comfortable two again. It's four runs of two balls. It's the outside edge, some runs for Australia. Could be four. And that's four. And it's been a while since we've seen that line there. It's now time to look at the runs to win been looking at the wickets column just three wickets for Australia the runs are now coming in this partnership from an Australian point of view it's important that they only go in small increments 
let's get to 30 runs needed to win then 20 runs needed to win I tell you what they get it to under 20 and the pressure starts to go back onto india again oh through the legs that might go for four it's a big chase harbajan's putting the big ones i don't think you'll get there it's four more Big shout and give him. I thought it might have got a bit of bat on it, and all of a sudden I actually thought it might have been going down leg. He's not happy, but they're back into it. The Australians need 29 to win. India need two wickets. Well, I don't know if this is out. No, I'll tell you what. I think he's got a roughie there, Nathan Horrence. Oh dear. He must have thought it was turning back. Up goes the finger. Complain gets another. We're not uh, convinced yet. Nathan Horrence has got to go, though. 78 for eight. The shadow's encroaching on the pitch. It's been a long, hard day for everyone. So enjoyable. That might go for buys. Oh, no. He went for the quicker one, the faster one. It was 96 kilometers per hour and given buys. Now it's down. 20 runs to win. Look at the score, Dino. Oh, I was unlucky. <laughs> it just bounced in the foot marks. Nothing you can do about that. You can't blame the keeper for that one. Oh, big shout. He didn't offer a shot. Did too much, one feels. <laughs> My heart would have been pumping for Casper. Just spun enough. And it was just going to miss. Very good decision again from Rudy Goodson. Excellent decision. Spun enough to beat the stumps. Oh, try and hit that. <laughs> Lean back and cut. <laughs> That's a tough one. Even if he told him he was going to bowl it, he wouldn't have hit it. No wonder you average, what, nearly 70 in first-class cricket. There's a sweep shot. There's a huge shout. Given not out again. I reckon this is out. And I reckon Casper knew. He looked straight down. And I think this might be out. Let's have a look. There's two. LBW. Oh, he's got, might have got a bottom edge into, into the pads here. Did he get a bottom edge? Did it ball go into the ground before it hit the pads? No, oh, nice shot. They might look for two here. And they will get them. I don't know whether he padded up or should he be running and it's given dead dead ball there so <laughs> is it angling in enough no just turned away enough again very good decision from the umpire they're under a lot of pressure and they require immense concentration let's have a look there's that inside edge it's hit the ground on the way up and it's hit the pad and it's given not out and rightly so. In the air. Oh, placement perfect. What a chip shot that was. It must have been right next to the pin. You couldn't have placed it any better, Michael Kastrovitz. Dangerous shot on this type of wicket, playing across the line of the spin. Leading edge, got it over the head of the, the bowler. It's not how to do it. Or is it? It's placed it perfectly. Well, these are handy runs for Australia. It'll be leg buys, I'm pretty sure, but doesn't matter how they come, and I don't think Michael Kaspervitz will be worried either. No off the bat, so flick to the onside was the thought from the umpire. See the pressure. Dravid, for the most part of this second innings in the field, has had a spring in his step because the wickets have kept falling. But in the last 20 runs or so, you can just feel the pressure building. Australia within 15 runs now. 
Well, because of the deviation in this pitch, he's looking for the leg stump line, Anil Kumble. And sometimes facing the Australian players area. Alaboda is still throwing the ball up. John Wright has had a tough time of it this tour. Who knows, we've got the side he would like out there. And there's a pull shot. Fielder in the deep. <laughs> Big shot for one. 93 for eight. And gone. Finally, something has out of the ordinary happened to a Harbhajan Singh delivery. He's come on. It's his second over having replaced Murali Kartik. And he's produced something pretty special. And that's a magnificent piece of bowling. The over spinner, the top spinner, not turning too much. The extra bounce, perfect length. Pitching on the seam. Forcing the batsman to play at it. In fact, Michael Kasperwich was spending at it. And a good catch by the skipper. And the Terminator is on. He's on a roll. Kasperwich gone for seven. 93 for nine, Australia. The last chance for Australia. The last chance for India, for that matter. But 93 for nine. Australia need 14. Glenn McGrath, let's not forget, has been showing some pretty good form with the bat. No one in its silly mid off. Strange decision. Everything on the onside. And the man, Rahul Drav, has taken a number of catches in the series. This one really flying. Kaspervitz, to that point, had done a fantastic job. Scoring was hard, and you just knew something extraordinary could happen and was going to happen in time. And gone. There it is. Test match to India. Something back back in the kit bag for them. They've fought hard in this game. It hasn't been a high run scoring match, but they have really shown some courage today. I think today has been the turnaround. They showed better intent with the bat, which has allowed them to get the lead and now bowl Australia out. Something for them at the end of a series that was lost in Nagpur. Well, I'll speed the very card. Matty Hayden once again getting into the 20s and getting out, but the important one, the early breakthrough provided by Zahir Khan in getting rid of Justin Langer. Ponting a couple of magnificent boundaries in this 12, but once Murali Karthik and Harbhajan Singh got into the thick of things, things were going to be extremely difficult. Just 15 from Ethan Horace towards the end, but a great bowling display. For well, Zahir Khan's first wicket, he was only sitting there with one wicket at the end of this innings but it was a big one just to lay it back in the pavilion open it up for the spin bowlers to come in and do their job Harvajan Singh I thought Murali Karthik throughout this whole match has been brilliant and Kumlay also India just a reminder of how this game progressed India struggled to make 104 in the first innings Australia responded with 203 India then producing their best batting for a while, 205, and Australia will be disappointed with their 93. So Australia winning the series 2-1. This has been a Fox Sports presentation.